Hey guys, um, I was looking over a few papers of mine that I did some time back, you know, some writing stuff that I did for a class back then, and I remembered, um, that I wrote something about, uh, David Hayter. Yeah, David Hayter. Why, why would I want to do something like that, right? <laughs> I mean, like, she want, um, my, my teacher, she wanted something that was... God, how to categorize this? She wanted something that was ambitious would be the right term, and uh, you know who drives us to be ambitious or something like that. She uh, <laughs> she she thought it was interesting. She said, um, "What an interesting and unusual topic essay. You did a nice job. Keep on focusing on the priority and helpful." Uh, supportive details in your team. Nice work, you know. And I, I got, I got a pretty good, uh, pretty good score for it. Um, but yeah, this I'm gonna go over this. Anything else that that come to mind, I guess. But yeah, I guess this is mainly for David Hayter because I, I wrote this about him, and uh, I, I hope you guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm laughing about this. It's ironic, you know, because it is basically... I guess I'll explain that. Yes. I have mentioned him many times before. A man who I admired and became a fan of since I heard his voice in one of my favorite video games, Metal Gear Solid. The character he voiced over for and still does to this day is named Solid Snake. The man responsible is known by the name of David Hayter. For years, I was only a lonesome fan, not knowing if I'd meet such a wonderful and ambitious man. Maybe I like him for his name, but I'll never find that if it's to be true or not. I saw him as a father figure with his words as I grew up with his character, always radiantly speaking of philosophy. This all came together when I decided to become a voice actor. For years, after picking up Solid Snake's voice, I had accomplished what many others could not. I began to change my normal voice through practice. Become a voice actor, one of my friends deliberately insisted. I never gave it too serious of a thought. It wasn't until I decided to open that door and challenge myself to see if truly I had had the talent, I started to do the snake voice, having hopes of getting thought of what I wanted and to do for a career. It was then when more people would gather to hear me joke around, loving to hear me be snake, perhaps others. I wanted to make that ambition, the dream, a goal. I had contacted David Hayter in hopes of getting some advice, but now I was capable of working with five different voices, and I wished to be a game designer. I never expected him to message me back, but when in fact he did. Then there was something that reminded me that I was not alone in my own path. Focus on college, the email had started. Maybe, just maybe, I will help you out. I continued on my ambition, seeing that a wonderful man such as him was really enough to see me pull through. As for every day that I pull through in college, I know that I do this for myself to get a better career. The days that continue to pass by are only a slight reminder to a man whom I have admired. So I laugh at the irony altogether, because here was a man who I thought I would never meet, only to hear his voice until the day he would retire. I now look forward to the day when I will meet him, slowly watching as the hours, days, weeks pass by, always hoping that someday in the future that I will get to know, meet, and work with the legendary Solid Snake. Okay, I know this essay kind of sucked because, you know, it's basic, but, you know, it was kind of a one-shot thing, you know, if I would have revised it, maybe it would sound better. But, uh, just to let you guys know, the only person there are more people that do influence me, not just David Hayter. You know, there was a toss between Stephen Russell and David Hayter, and, uh, my friend Jesse said, well, why don't you do Snake? And, uh, you know, that's basically where I'm at right now. Let's see here. My baby sister, she, uh, she's a great person. She really is. Um, she loves me doing Yoshi's voice. And, uh, and it's fun just doing it around her. Um, yeah, I, I have enough of that already. But if you guys want to, uh, you know what? What the hell? Yes!
Yoshi! So, yeah, um, don't remind me of that, really don't, because then people will get really like, that's so cool! I, I did that to, uh, to somebody down at the college, they were wearing a Yoshi hat, and I called out to him, and he's all like, that's cool, how can you, how can you do something like that? And I said, I, I really don't know. Please, uh, my, one of my friends can do a really, really nice snake voice, and I can do liquid. So we actually sat there for a good half an hour as people were getting around. And I was like, pansies? I don't know what pansies. I asked for roses, you know, type of thing. And just having a blast with liquid's voice. I, I wasn't really uh, putting a friend to that, I guess. But, but uh, we were joking around. He was all like, "You will get pansies and like them." And <laughs> Snake's voice, which, which made me laugh. You know, I can't, I can't go over that. Anyway, I will let you guys go. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you. <laughs> what the hell? I, I sound a little feminine while doing it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm woman. I get it. So, uh, <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Bye. What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving. No. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the Eye for its unusual appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett the sword. Keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest. 